Howdy y'all, Fast Forest 289. So, interesting story for tonight. Me and a buddy of mine took the fair lane out for a little cruise around here on Thanksgiving night. And uh, let me show you what happened. So we're going down the road and start hearing a noise. And then my, I noticed my alternator light came, comes on. The belt's missing. It completely came off. I don't know why. It seemed like the alternator locked up, but it's turning free now. So I got me a spare belt. I'm gonna put on there, crank it up, see what the alternator does, make sure it's charging and all that. And then, uh, yeah, go from there. Probably gonna get a new alternator though tomorrow. To go okay so i ended up picking up a, a new alternator from o'reilly's auto parts and putting on here because it was the alternator that was bad i put the other belt on here and it was making a squealing noise once it ran a certain rpm and it ran for a minute so it's definitely the alternator locking up went and replaced it we're charging good now it's quiet and i also picked up a new belt because it just chewed the other one was gone it chewed it up and i stuck it back on there and then it got lost on the road so it is what it is but now we're good to go so anyway, yeah, that is a uh, kind of a crazy story. I, you know, weird things happen, you know what I'm saying? And this thing, like the engine was running. And when I stopped the first time and saw that the belt had popped off, I reached down there and just grabbed the belt, picked it up out of the engine bay with it still running. I was going to try to just drive it. I weren't too far from home. So I figured it's cold outside. It was at night. I had air that would be forced to the radiator. Maybe I keep it cool, but it started running hot. So I pulled over on the side of the road, cut the car off, let it cool down for a minute. Stuck the belt back on by hand. Didn't have any tools. Had to kind of just work it on there, force it. Couldn't get it on there straight. Cranked it up. It, it got it enough to cool the engine back down with the water pump turning. And got going down the road and it fell off again. So it was gone after that. So then every time I'd come to a hill, I'd just cut the car off and it put coast to neutral. And when I got ready to go up a hill or had to go further, I would just pop the clutch and crank it back up and go on about, about my way. And I was able to get it home so but uh fun fun adventure not expected but you know these things happen so but it was a easy fix nothing to it uh so yeah that's all there is to i didn't do a video on installing it because i got a video on my channel on installing an alternator on this car so you can go check that out if you want to but there's that so and also one little thing to also note is in case you haven't seen that video this alternator is for a 75 and newer Ford 302. The reason for that is in 75, Ford upped their amperage from a 55 amp alternator to a 60 amp alternator to carry the electronic ignition. So that's a cheap, easy upgrade. It bolts up the same and everything. And I've also noticed that they don't usually carry 68 alternators in stock. And when they do, they're more expensive. They're a special order, they cost more, but you can go get one for like, let's say my 76 Ford truck with a 302. They got it in stock, usually nine times out of 10 and they're cheaper. So anyway, a, a nice little side note on that. Anyway, so I just wanted to fill y'all in on what happened to me tonight and, or last night actually, and let you know what happened and how I took care of it. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave me in the drop box down below and I'll get back to you as always. And uh, see so ya. Yeah, that's all there is for this one. So until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.